Endoscopic evaluation of the small bowel improved significantly with the introduction of video capsule endoscopy, VCE, which is currently a diagnostic test. Overtube assisted enteroscopy has enhanced the diagnosis and treatment of small bowel disease, allowing biopsies, hemostasis, dilation, stenting, removal of foreign bodies, including retained capsules, polypectomies, and mucosal resections, and facilitating endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography, ERCP, in altered small bowel anatomy. The overtube assisted double balloon enteroscope, DBE, was the first device to become widely available, followed by the single balloon enteroscope, SBE, and the spiral tip, SPE, overtube systems. While DBE may achieve deeper depth of small bowel intubation, it is not clear that this affects diagnostic yield or outcomes. Average depth of insertion of over 200 centimeters from the ligament of traits by using an antegrade or peroral approach and 120 centimeters from the ileocecal valve with a retrograde, usually transanal approach, have been described, as has complete small bowel endoscopy. Despite its inherent invasiveness and particular complications, such as acute pancreatitis that are not associated with standard endoscopy, studies report that overtube-assisted enteroscopy carries a low morbidity. However, there is a higher risk of perforation, especially for retrograde enteroscopy in patients with previous intestinal resections. The incidence of cardiopulmonary adverse events associated with overtube-assisted enteroscopy has not been reported to be higher than that of routine endoscopy. A high number of respiratory adverse events resulting in emergency resuscitation efforts were noted by the Endoscopy Quality Improvement Program. This led to the present review, including examination of short-term and long-term outcomes, and a change in airway management for patients undergoing antigrade enteroscopy. While any high-quality endoscopy unit monitors adverse events, data are scarce regarding how these outcomes are used and whether they lead to a change in patient care. In this study, Lar et al. report all adverse events identified by a continuous endoscopy quality program that were associated with a cohort of patients undergoing overtube-assisted enteroscopy. The authors explain how this experience led to a multidisciplinary change in airway management as all patients undergoing anti-grade overtube-assisted enteroscopy now receive endotracheal intubation at the author's institution, which has decreased the rate of respiratory adverse events. Short and long-term outcomes of adverse events associated with overtube-assisted enteroscopy are also reported. Background and study aims. Adverse events associated with overtube-assisted enteroscopy are similar to those with routine endoscopy. The Endoscopy Quality Program identified a number of respiratory adverse events resulting in emergency resuscitation efforts. The aim is to report all adverse events identified by quality monitoring and outcomes of adverse events associated with overtube-assisted enteroscopy. Methods A retrospective study used data prospectively obtained from consecutive patients undergoing overtube-assisted enteroscopy between December 2008 and July 2012. Patient characteristics, medical history, procedure indication, and procedure outcomes, including diagnosis, endoscopic therapy, and complications were obtained. Results. In 432 overtube-assisted enteroscopies, 15 adverse events, most frequently hypoxemia, 9-15, 60%, occurred in 14 patients, 3.2% of total cohort, 12 were outpatients, mostly during antigrade enteroscopy. Four patients required endotracheal intubation and 412 patients required intensive care. The procedure was aborted in 13 out of 14 patients, and only one of 10 patients scheduled for repeat antigrade enteroscopy returned. There was no mortality. Based on the frequency of adverse events and in consultation with anesthesia providers, from August 2012, all antigrade overtube assisted enteroscopies at the author's institution were done with general anesthesia. From then till September 2013, 145 antigrade and 52 retrograde overtube assisted enteroscopies have been done with no adverse events. Conclusions Monitoring of endoscopy practice identified adverse events associated with overtube assisted enteroscopy. The peer reviewed prompt a change in practice. 
all patients undergoing antigrade over tube assisted enteroscopy at the author's institution now have endotracheal intubation which has dramatically decreased the rate of respiratory adverse events. The impact of endoscopic quality measurements on practices, procedures, and outcomes will be of further interest.